Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, we'll be installing the electrical roller sunshade for the Tesla Model Y. And we are wrapping with fabric tape around these metal attachment clips just to have some extra security when it's bumping against the glass. So we are testing it right now before we install it. And just to make sure it's functioning, you just need to plug this into the 12 volt outlet in the rear trunk of the Tesla Model Y on the left side. So it is currently working just fine. So we'll be putting this in the Tesla Model Y. And first, what you want to do is fish through the power wire. And before you actually tape the power wire, you want to pull down on the left side panel on the top headliner, starting from the rear. And then use a small pry tool that came with the kit, um, pry between the glass and the trim, and that should pop open for you to pull through the fish wire. And once you pull through the fish wire, you want to be able to hold up the back of the actual sunshade and run the wires through. And then slide in the bracket against the trim, between the trim and the glass. For the front, you want to align it with the screw. And it does come with two screw, torque screw. Um, you want to slide the actual trim mount in and line it up with where the screw holes are at and once you have it lined up go ahead and place the screw in and tighten it with your torque screwdriver so you want to hand tighten this do not use an impactor you want to make sure that you don't over torque it and this will give a sturdy support for the front and the rear and that is basically it with the installation it takes less than 10 minutes if you have two people it would be easier but you can do this by yourself no issue with installation and we'll show at the end of the video where we plug in the power but right now it's just mainly mounting this sunshade up on your headliner and it's very sturdy it's not too heavy it's perfect height for the glass and the trim so you have a space between they do provide you with this cover to cover up the silver trim and also the screw so the rear passenger cannot see it so Hanshou thought about everything, including the aesthetic of it. So having this cover will block the rear passenger from seeing the silver trim as well as the screws that you just put on. Highly recommend this. It works really well. The motor is very quiet. And if you stay tuned within a few seconds, we'll go through a full review of this sunshade. Okay, so the electric sunshade has been installed. It took less than 10 minutes and it's really pre-assembled already. You just have to put two screws and mount this plus plug it in. So let me show you how it works. So there's two switches on the rear and two switches in the front there. So the rear passenger can actually close or open this electronic sunshade. And what I like about this electronic sunshade is that you don't lose much headroom. So maybe about a quarter of an inch, I would say, to half an inch versus other other mesh will sag about two, three inches, some even more at the center. And even the sliding one, you lose about two, one to two inches. So this one here, you press that and it's very convenient. It automatically closes and it goes at a decent speed not too slow, not too fast, and you can close it completely. You still have the view when you don't need to use it. Your rear passenger can also open it. And the reason why they have control in the rear because they can pause it. Same thing with the driver. You can pause it halfway. So then let's say the driver wants some sunlight, but the rear passenger do not then they can control it. So you can actually stop it halfway, you can stop it a quarter of way, or you can fully open it from the rear. And it works the same for the front switches. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So taking a look at the front switch, it works the same. So this is made out of some sort of aluminum or aluminum covering. So pushing down on the front switch, 
it automatically closes. And of course, you can stop it halfway. Let's say you want some sunlight or you can fully close it. Very nice. And this just brings convenience as well as it looks integrated with the vehicle. I don't know why Tesla didn't do this in the first place. Even if they're trying to cut costs, they should have provided this as optional. So how this gets power is very easy to plug in. It uses the cigarette lighter or the 12 volt outlet plug, whatever you want to call it, from the rear cargo. So let's go ahead and take a look at that so right this now. This is where it plugs in. Of course, I, can, I could have hit this better, but just plug into this outlet here. Comes with sturdy wrap wires. You can of course tuck this in like that, but that's how it sits. You can also buy a extension adapter. Uh, they do provide a door plug, so a splitter that comes with the kit. So the splitter, let me show you how that looks like. It's this here. So they do provide this with the kit so you don't have to purchase this. So let's say you have a mini fridge or you want to still have access to this power, you can plug it in as a dual charger. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a adapter accessory that folds down or folds up so it looks more integrated. Then therefore I can plug it like that on top so things don't bang into it. So I'll also post a link where you can find it. However, if you're interested in this sunshade, and I can even close it from the tailgate here if I wanted to. Link in the description. Make sure you use the promo code in the description for saving on this. Currently available to ship now is what I've been told. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe.